Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Wolfgang Countries here. Be sure to subscribe, be sure to like, be sure to comment below. We are going to show you my Minecraft world. Today, we are going to show you the Warren Gettles world. So, let's jump right in it without any further ado. Alright, so, here we go. Um, now, in Warren Gettles world, there, right now, I have two cities connected by footpath and by train. Um... The rest of the cities are connected by train only. This is one of the first cities here. So, um, it's not much right now, but it's got a few neat features about it. First feature being the Evil Pyramid. So, the Evil Pyramid, you can go in here, and basically, it's a city. See? And not only is it a city, it's a city for the dead. The zombies, the skeletons, like those two dudes, the spiders, and all that. I guess they're not here right now because it's so lit up. But, um, yeah. Also, it has a, you're probably saying, what the hell, this is small. No, it's not small. Because if you go through here, this tunnel will take you all the way up here. And then uh, around here, all the way through here, all the way up through here. Huh. I don't know why that's open like that. And all the way up here, and here's the rest of a pyramid. Pretty dope. As you can see, it's all lit up. And... This is where all the zombies, all the spiders, all the creepers, all the everything gets together. And I hate these two skinny guys because they keep taking blocks out of my buildings and it pisses me off. But luckily, I haven't seen them like warp half a building. And I'm guessing that was the older versions of Minecraft where they did that. But yeah, anyhow, we're on the outside of the pyramid. There's a town on the other side of the pyramid. I'll give you a quick glimpse, but we're not going to that town today. Um, see, there it is right there. But we're not going to that town today because I need to fix the town name. And just for liability reasons, just for reasons of current issues going on, I am not going to show you that town's old name. And that town's old name is going to go bye-bye. And that town, after we get some paths built to it and everything, will be renamed Fairy Hollow. Now, this is the second neat feature of this desert city. This right here, my friends, is um, Shutter Island. You remember the movie Shutter Island where the crazy guy was um, being... Uh, agent or whatever and he was looking for another crazy person who escaped from the the crazy house well yeah that's what this is you've got ward c ward a stupid cat get out of here ward a ward b you've got the orderly's house office and the warden's office all right i'm not going into detail i know what i will i'll just show show you so this right here and this up here ladies and gentlemen is going to be the warden's office and then you cross over here's where the orderlies are going to be i've got to furnish everything here a uh, chest yes for the orderlies to store their tools and stuff uh yada 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 okay that's done so let's show you this is ward a and as you can see the characters are free to enter and leave their cells as they please because they're not that bad off, alright? So, these guys are the ones that can go around on Shutter Island and just walk around and stuff. Um, trying to make sure my microphone's staying on because this headset has a switch to turn the microphone off and last time I was recording the entire microphone was off and it pissed me off because I had taken made a 25 minute video and yeah you can see how that would piss me off 
So this is Ward B. And Ward B, they've got bars on their doors, yet they're still able to walk about the um, Shutter Island freely. So, Ward B, again, not that bad of uh, people. And then you finally have Ward C. Now, Ward C, no one is allowed to walk around the island freely. What, thus, the iron doors. But as you can see, some of the wards are populated and have people inside them. So that way, you know, I mean, that way this place stays in business. Um, yes, all of the all of the dealings are powered. As you can see, this guy is checking up on the prisoners like I am. Just making sure they didn't commit any type of suicide or anything like that. Suicide. No. That's fucked up. I shouldn't have said it like that. Oh, well. Um, yep. Nope. They're all good. They're still in the beds. Okay. I'm going to somewhere else. So, that is Ward C. Um, do note the prisoners can garden. And they've got their own little gardens. Do note that these buildings are big, but they're not ridiculous. And the zombies can't get into the buildings. So, yeah, YouTube. Okay, I don't know why the bars are missing here. Let's go ahead and fix this right quick. Okay, that's fixed. And... Well, yeah, you can see also... I built a road, I think, out of concrete. Or it could be wall. Um, but I built a road. There's a little stone dock there. And the road, if you follow the road back, it leads all the way into the Shutter Island. See? So... That's just one little neat thing that I did with it. So, now, to bring you guys to the next place. This is already a seven minute video. But, this right here is a train station. We're not going to get into it. See, just a normal train station. Buy your tickets from that asshole. Um, passenger entrance. Freight Depot, Passenger Exit, and this one I didn't label, but I think that's a Freight Exit. So, anyhow, moving on, Jurassic Park, and it's got the super huge, like, super ridiculous gates for all of it, and so, yeah. I still need to add on more areas, but I'm taking a break for that one right now because that was pissing me off. It was just way too huge. All right, covering this one in eight minutes, so that's good. Well, as you can see, I replaced all the roads with brick roads, and this one brick road leads out of the city. You're probably wondering why is there a brick road going that long, and you're going to see it. So remember how in the beginning I told you that the two cities are connected by footpaths and trains. Well, this is a footpath. It goes through the dark forest. And it goes ahead, swings around here, swings around there, yada, 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 right into the tunnel. So we're going to do the tunnel real quick. The tunnel goes like this, like that, and like this. And then you come out to one of my other cities. They, so you follow this roadway all the way back, all the way here and here and here and here and you are now entering the city called Cat Girl City. Dun dun dun. 
Okay, so that big square there, the first one we're seeing with Cat Girl City on it, that was the original jail. Um, that was there after Shutter Island. But, this was all the first jail in this in this world that I made. And then, let me go back outside right quick to show you more. But there's extensions to this jail. So, we're going to go a quick overview on it. I'm not going to spend much time on it. But, this square here is an extension. This tower is an extension. This hallway and this hallway are both extensions. Um, the lighthouse extension and this extension and the hallways that connect all of these places are all extensions. And you're asking me why is there a wolf on the roof? Because I spawned like a ton of rabbits on the roof and they jumped off the roof because of a wolf. And I sat there and collected up rabbit skins and rabbit hides all day long. So let's see, I'll show you how many I got. Right there, 64, da da da. Quite a bit. Damn this, this headphones cord is making it hard to work with. But anyhow, that's quite a bit of rabbit skin. Alright, so that's all good. Alright, so take you on the quick version of the jail. You saw the first one, which is Ward A. Oh, this is the warden's house. Okay. So, you've seen this one. This is Ward A and the original tower. But, we had to expand. So, along came this hallway. And then, Ward B. Which is more moderate and heavier crimes. Ward A is just light penalty crimes. And then, finally, Ward C. Um... Ward C here is major offenders, murderers, and terrorists. Um, and the registration guide to register the prisoners before they go into their cells. So, lastly is the, um, the police area. Sleeping quarters for the police area. Debriefing room. Up here, different interrogation rooms. And this is the police commons. So, yeah, back here, janitor's closet, nothing except a chest. Over there is storage area in here. So, chest all over, yeah. Okay, so, we're going to go ahead and speed this up. Because I'm already at 12 minutes in. Um, yep, this area here, this hallway takes you into that lighthouse. So, I'll show you real quick. You go through here. Whoosh. Up we go. Lighthouse. Okay, so... That's one of two lighthouses, by the way. That was the original first one. And then I said, you know what? I could top that. I could build a bigger one. I could build a better one. And I did. So, back up here, another crew commons area right here. And then we go to the stairway. i got to fix that. Um, this stairway just leads us back up to the entrance there. Okay, so we go all the way up here. This is the tower to look over all three blocks. Block A, Block C, and Block B. So, and this controls the power to all three blocks. I can turn off the lights for all three blocks and turn them back on. I'll just give you an example here. It won't take but a second. Watch. 
mm, this one. And this one here. There we go. Now all three blocks are dark. Turn it back on and you can watch them light up. Same with over here, which is, this is B block, and then over here to C block. So, now, time to leave the jail. Yeah, I know. Sucks. Oh, well. We're 16 minutes in. Dang. I need to speed it up. So. Okay, next up is the Abbey. You've all seen the Abbey. Um, all the crosses. This was based off the nun. So, the graveyard... Then inside the Abbey, this is what it looks like from the inside. It's two stories. The second story is nuns living quarters, library, and a blank space I don't know what to do with just yet. So, we'll take you through it real quick. Um, we're we're going to try to speed this along just because it's just taking forever. So, here we go. First base of the Abbey, blank. Second space, nuns living quarters. Oh yeah, all the signs are in Latin. So you can look them up. Type them and look them up. Um, but this is the donation area for the church. For the abbey, that is. Um, right there. Just Google it on Google Translator. And here, library. And so then they got the first floor. You've got the confessional here with a guy inside it. Then you got this area. If you all remember the movie The Nun, you know what Finnecake Deuce means. For those of you who never watched The Nun, it means God ends here. Pentagram and upside down cross. Nothing big. Okay. And that door stays shut because that room is pure evil. So, you go into the water to bless yourself. Or actually just like baptism water. I don't know. Uh, it's just a pool I found. Okay, so this is a delivery area for the Abbey. And um, this entrance is at the city. And the dude who delivers food and stuff goes in here. See? And then he goes down through here and drops the food off in here. And the ladies come out of this doorway. And the nuns do. And they bring the food in. So... I gave you all a good view of all the um, signs. There's probably going to be more signs I'll put on it, but not right now. Because um, this video is getting long. It's at 19 minutes. So over here, down this hall, is the church area. Stupid skeleton. But this is the church area for praying and whatever. It's got pretty c colorful glass and also a cross. Yeah, that's a nun's church area. So, okay, that does it for the Abbey. Okay, next up, 
thermal nuclear power plant, Cat Girl City's thermal nuclear power plant. So, um, oh, one more thing real quick before we leave this area. Father Anthony Burke from the movie The Nun, and also R.I.P. Maurice Frenchy Theralt Theroussault. Anyhow, um, Maurice Frenchy, if you're wondering who that was, he was on the movie The Nun. He was like the guy that took him to the castle. He also was on The Conjuring. And, um, in The Conjuring, um, yeah, they were showing his exorcism. So, next up, we go all the way up here. And we follow this all the way back. We go up here. And this right here is the thermal nuclear power plant. You pull this switch and turn it on. And what it does, it shuts off the water flow to the turbine. That piston right there, that sticky piston, comes down and shuts off that water flow. So what we do is we usually keep it turned off. So that way, as you can see, the water is flowing down into the turbine. Um, the water, it goes this way. It goes from there to here. And it's heated by the lava core. And so, yeah, the water pumps up through there. Comes out here and goes down into the ground there. And then down there is a pool with a turbine and a power, power thingy. You know what I'm talking about. And the lava even goes down in it. Um, so... Now, that's all there is to that power plant. Just so you know, this nether brick stuff, um, anytime you see a power line that came directly from this power plant, the power line's going to be made out of nether brick. For example, these power lines come from one of the power plants over in the um, warring battle area, which is way over there, like two or three towns over there I'm not going over there it's going to take way too long and this video is at 22 so these are the um, bricks to go ahead and show that power line came from the nuclear power plant so now we go to West Cat Girl City um, oh one thing I forgot to show you right quick that I must show you is building platforms these platforms are specifically made for building golems on this one can accommodate 30 golems easily per build so yeah which per build I mean from building the body to getting the pumpkin on if you build all the bodies until there's no room left on that platform then you've got 30 golems this one is built for 60 this is West Cat Girl City this is a three-story house well Two story and a basement not getting into details with it this one two story house plus attic space but attic space is unusable and they're all all of these areas are powered through the new thermal nuclear power plants so and this the building plat construction platform here is powered by both power plants so that's kind of fun um but next you got a cave-in house and a cave-in house is pretty simple you build part house and you dig into a cave and make the house out of the cave and out of just what you make so this front white part is all house and the rest of it's all cave plus they got their own farm okay moving on we are going to cat girl city castle so this is cat girl city castle one thing I did was make a sticky piston door so check this out I turn this on and I go down here door shut okay so I go ahead I turn flip that switch up and turn the power off doors open so that's pretty neat there's the golems that protect the castle um, library damn it door library plus enchanting table okay um two docks 
and a swimming pool in the courtyard. This is the second dock, and you bastard, you better not lose that boat. Yeah, that's right, I'm talking to you. Little friggin' punk. Anyhow, next thing is the ki king's room. The king and queen sit here, golden table, and back here is a blacksmith. The blacksmith works here, has his lava bed, pit and everything, and a place to sell off his wares inside the castle, as well as storage underneath the stairs, and the stairs lead up to his bedroom, um, right there. So, yeah, pretty cool. All right, let's keep moving on. So, let's see, back here, just a simple storage area. Yep, we're at 26 minutes. Crap. And then a second story in the king's castle. Or queen's castle. And the second story you can reach to from the courtyard of the castle. Then the third story just takes you up to these walkways. Which takes you around the out outer wall of the castle. So that way you can protect the castle from zombies or whatever. Okay, real cool. So... Let's go ahead and let's get over to our last build within the Catgirl Cities that I've done recently. So, and I'm sorry, this is taking a long time. I thought I was going to cut down some time. This is the last build in Catgirl Cities, and you two need to quit fighting and just... There. Dummies. So this is the last build in Catgirl City. This is Catgirl City Lighthouse number two. The first lighthouse, as you remember, was on the jail. We'll see if we can see it up here. Okay. Um, right th over there is the jail. You can't see the first lighthouse. So this one. Ah. Uh, this one works the same way. It's on a clock system. All I have to do, whoops, get some redstone going here, and I don't know why this keeps stopping on me, maybe I'm doing something wrong, I don't know, but as you can see, there we go, oh. I'm going to just go ahead and increase the time on all these. Maybe the increased timing will help. If I did this instead, uh, okay, here it is. Instead of that, But anyhow, you can see the lighthouse is running now. I slowed it down. I don't know how that's going to affect it. Oh, living quarters for all the little meeples. The um, villagers you see here. And they usually just stick to themselves inside this massive lighthouse. Um, our next build is going to be out here on this Arctic Circle. We're going to build a little exploration station out there. And what's cool is if you go all the way out to this Arctic Circle here. And say I stand like right here. 
how I would get up here on a normal circumstance, I don't know. You could barely see it, but the lighthouse is there. If I go out here, you can see the lighthouse flashing. So, that's it, YouTube. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, be sure to comment on my channel. Um, tell me what you think I should possibly build next. Nothing racist, nothing hateful, nothing ridiculous. Alright, um, but yeah, no, um, let me know what you think. I've got to return this boat back to the castle. Otherwise, the king and the queen and queen are going to be pissed at me. Yes, two queens at Cat Girl City. Yes. So, okay. Anyhow, roll, roll, roll your boat. Roll, roll, roll your boat. Boat, you suck, boat. I hate that boat. Okay, swimming. Yay, I'm swimming in the pool. Okay, enough of that. So, yeah, one final look at Cat Girl City before I shut this video down. The castle, the lighthouse, the jail, thermal nuclear power plant, and the abbey. Such a beautiful place, such a beautiful day. Da, 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 da. I don't know this song that I'm trying to sing. There better not be what I. Yep, it's there, so I'm not going there. But fly around just to give you guys a good view. And yes, that's that little building there, that's the storage area for the Abbey. Alright. Yes, I did use black t t tinted glass. So what's that trader doing up there? I don't even know how we got up there. Oh, well. But I did use black tinted glass to go ahead and make the roof for the jail since this is an area that rains. The houses. And yes, Cat Girl City West is going to expand into all this area. But I don't have a motivation at the moment. And that's it, everyone. Y'all enjoy.